We stroke the emphasis is on time, and what is so important is if a patient is a candidate for certain clot-busting medicines, uh, then this technology allows us to bring the medicine to the patient sooner. It brings the specialist to the bedside, and with collaboration with the emergency physician, as a team we come together and we decide if the patient is a candidate for the medicine, and then we can get it on board uh, sooner than later. So it helps with outcome, helps reduce mortality, and uh, helps to minimize uh, uh, deficit for the patient. We'll then log on to the robot there in the emergency room with y'all, and we can then virtually uh, be there with y'all seeing the patient in real time just as we're there right now. One of the nice things about that is that while you know we certainly can look at different areas around the room and focus on different things, we also can zoom in on the patient and other things to try to see. And one of the nice things about this is that we can certainly look very closely down even to look at things like pupillary reactions and other things uh, in those patients too. But you know, we basically through the you know, evaluation would go through an NIH stroke scale with the patient. So ma'am, I'd, I'd ask you how you're doing today? Okay. Okay, can you tell me your full name? Cindy McRae. Okay, and Ms. McRae, how old are you? Sorry to put you on the spot for that. 51. Okay, and can you tell me what month it is right now? February. Good. Now again, I'm going to look here closely to your face. What I want you to do is sort of as best you can sort of look all the way over to the side with your eyes and then look all the way back towards the other side again. Okay? If you just look at the screen, tell me what you see and can you describe it? I see a mother washing dishes and a child falling off of a stool trying to get some cookies out of a jar and his sister laughing at him. Okay. And then tell me what this is. A uh, pair of gloves. And this? A uh, key. Cactus. A chair. A feather. A hammock. Now just read these lines for me. You know how. Down to earth. Good. We can be there in the room with y'all to basically discuss in real time the deficits in the patient, what's going on with the CAT scan, what the labs look like, to talk about the inclusion exclusion criteria face to face with the patient or their family, to talk about the risks and the benefits of delivering the sort of life saving treatment to patients, which can be at times uh, brought with risks. And so we discuss in an informed consent manner that verbally with patients and families, just via the robot here with y'all.